Good afternoon, Glory. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Glory, can you tell me about yourself? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I'm Glory Dulawan, 24 years old, a single mother, and I have I have one son. Okay, I have a few questions here for you to answer, Glory, so let's start. Yes, ma'am. Okay, why do you want to work as a maid? Uh, I want to work as maid in Malaysia because Malaysia is near in the Philippines and Malaysia and Philippines is the same in time. Okay, then why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Uh, I choose Malaysia because Malaysia is near in the Philippines. Okay, then how are you qualified for this job? I qualify for this job, ma'am, because I want to I want to provide the needs of my child and family finances, ma'am. Okay, may I know what your educational level is? Ma'am, my educational level is high school graduate, ma'am. Okay, have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am, I'm first. Okay, what is your recent working experience? My recent working experience before yes uh, housekeeper and maid ma'am do you have experience of taking care of baby yes ma'am before uh, uh, one year two months and whose baby, baby are baby. you taking care of of uh, baby of ma'am joan boutique ma'am you mean your employer yes ma'am okay how about elderly people no ma'am but i'm willing to learn how to take care of elderly do you have any other special skills? Uh, yes, ma'am. Like cooking. Um, Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. I I'm willing to learn how to cook. Uh, okay. Chinese Are you cook. willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Willing. Currently. Are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, Filipino food, but I'm willing to learn how to cook. Uh, how to cook uh, Chinese food. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do yes. you like most? Uh, cooking, ironing, and laundry. Okay. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My parents, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours? Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed? Yes, ma'am. I will follow the rules and regulations of my employer. Okay, you are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer um, in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using this handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate the handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. Okay? You only allowed to bring this normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone, okay? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. I agree. Okay. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. I agree. Okay. How many years is the contract? Two years contract, ma'am. Okay. Can you describe for me a bit of yourself, your ethics, your attitude? Uh, ma'am, I'm hardworking. Honest, patient, and kind. Okay. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Uh, I I can assure that I will work in Malaysia because I want to help my child and family finances. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. I promise. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am, I promise. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise 
not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances. Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulations of the agency? Yes, ma'am, I understand. Okay. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Okay. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Okay. Do you smoke? No, ma'am, never. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Uh, yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food uh, which is taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am, of course. Ma okay. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? Uh, yes, ma'am. I, I know, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Promise. Okay. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Glory, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study, okay? Okay, yes, ma'am. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months only, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? Uh, for that mom is uh, what I will what I can do is I will finish first my contract and I will send the money. Okay. Um, again, tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Uh, Ma'am, uh, I'm Glory Dolawan. I am hardworking, honest, patient, and polite and kind. Uh, I want to work in Malaysia because I want to help my family finances. And I want to help the, to provide the needs of my uh, child and sister, younger sister. Okay. What do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Mom, uh, please choose me because I am hardworking, honest, polite, and kind. Thank you, Mom. Okay. Thank you very much, Glory. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Yes, Mom.